This is an OTF knife. This is an OTF fork. This is an OTF spoon. This is an OTF fuck. Here we are with another project. This time, it's a 3D printed OTF gadget, but instead of popping out a knife, this one can switch things up with a spoon, a fork, or some other stupid thing. An OTF, or out the front, is a type of mechanism where an item, usually a knife blade, is deployed and retract through an opening in the front of the device. It's a bit like a switchblade, but instead of flipping out from the side like a lame magician trick, it extends straight out of the front like a tiny angry rocket. When it comes to OTF mechanisms, there are few standard designs out there. One common design uses a spring to load the blade, a leaf latch spring to lock it in place, and a slider to load the spring and trigger the leaf spring latch. At a certain point, the slider releases the latch and eject the knife out of the case. Retraction works the same way. While this mechanism is effective, it involves a lot of parts. I came across an amazing design by the YouTuber Ultimate sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it, that simplifies this concept remarkably. His design uses only three parts, a blade, a base, and a spring. One of the genius aspects of this design is that it doesn't use a leaf spring to latch the blade into place. Instead, the blade itself have latches that locks into the outer shell of the hilt. This clever design reduces the number of parts needed. When adapting this design for more versatile OTF gadgets, I faced a few challenges. One major issue is that the blade in some designs has a rail guide inside it for the spring, making the blade a crucial component in the mechanism. For my design, I want to avoid having this slot in the blade because I don't want to be limited when designing other tools. Another issue is that the spring is a part of the outer shell of the hilt. If you touch the spring while trying to open it, it can interfere with the mechanism. To address this challenge, I decided to make a trigger mechanism more versatile. I wanted a fidget-friendly design where the entire front of the face act as the trigger. This way you can open it from any angle using any finger. To achieve this, the spring moved inside the knife. The blade itself houses the latches and spring, keeping the entire length of the blade clear for anything you want to design. This way the gadget remains simple with just three parts, yet it's versatile enough to accommodate different designs. Let's see how it works. Sliding the trigger face forward, tension the spring, and engage a release knob with the latch, releasing the latch and propelling the blade forward. Sliding the trigger face back compresses the spring, engaging the second release knob with the second latch to retract the blade. The latch is then engaged with a notch in the outer shell, securing the blade in place when retract or deployed. Let's talk about the printing. I typically use a raft because leveling my printer is a nightmare and a raft provides a perfectly level surface. The model does not need support. Ensure in the slicer that the spring area is filled entirely with walls, with no voids or infill. Increasing the wall count to fill the spring ensure consistency between printers and parts. The assembly is straightforward. The most important thing is to make sure all the parts move smoothly together. Insert the blade into the base and check if it slides out. If it doesn't, you may need to sand it down until it slides perfectly. If it's still not sliding well after sanding, or the blade is not popping properly, you can always use a little bit of Vaseline for lubrication. I've also included a blank blade that you can modify for your needs. All the files for this project are in the link in the description. Please share with me what you create with a blank blade, it will be interesting. 
and if you're still watching it means that this video interests you so consider subscribing for more content like this let me know how i did on this video and thank you very much for your support thanks for watching